The capacity crisis at a local animal shelter has been averted. Mohawk Hudson Humane Society seeing 125 adoptions in the past week. That's certainly great news, but officials warn the root cause still remains. A serious shortage of chem uh, kennel space in proportion to the number of animals coming in. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno has the details and how a local police department is trying to help. At the time the Mohawk Hudson Humane Society asked the public for help, they had more than 400 animals in their care. Today, that number is down to 297. It's fantastic, but at the same point, it's just one week. Our, our space crisis has been averted, but we're constantly getting more animals in all the time from our municipal partners. <laughs> CEO Ashley Jeffrey Bauk said it's clear the community cares about animals with how they showed up to adopt and enough donations came in to support the shelter in covering all adoption costs for the month. She said the shelter will help area municipalities develop their own facilities in any way possible, but the issue won't be fixed overnight. A lot of it is long term planning, which is fantastic, but those conversations do need to happen because we can't keep going like this. Schenectady Police Lieutenant Ryan Mascherone said they've been receiving a high number of stray calls in the city, echoing the crisis at the shelter. When the department heard of the overcrowding, they took five of the shelter's dogs into one of their overflow kennels to look after them for a while. We know that they're helping a lot of others out as well, so um, you know, doing our small part to help them back is, is really important to us. Animal Control Officer Liz spent time with each of them. Liz has been one of our dedicated officers for, for years now. She, she investigates everything from you know stray animals to animal cruelty cases. Um, she has a bond with animals. Obviously, she's in the right job. While fostering pups at the PD, she took a liking to Boog, who is back in the shelter now that the space has freed up. He's one of many still waiting for his forever home. The sponsored adoption fees will continue here at the Humane Society through the end of August. Reporting in Manans, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.